guys, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. It's the day before Thanksgiving here in Maryland. And by the time you see this, it'll be Thanksgiving. And I want to give a shout out to my friend Tim. Tim earlier in the summer had uh, won a t-shirt of mine. And I told him if he sent me a picture, I would put it in the video. So right now, you should be seeing Tim's face and his nice brand new Mental Metal t-shirt that he won over the summer. So congratulations again, Tim. Hope you like it. And uh, keep the comments coming, Tim. I depend on you. But today, I'm going to do something different. The video you're going to see today is going to go back a couple months to summer. My friend Todd and I were detecting in the water here in Maryland, secret location. And, boy, we found something really, really interesting. Without me talking anymore, because I've talked way too much, uh, hope you enjoy the video. And, again, happy Thanksgiving and happy Black Friday. Get out there and buy all the good stuff. All right. Watch the video. See you. Here we are again. My friend Todd is with me today. He's ready to go underwater. I am always. And the two feet of water out there, he's ready. Maybe two feet. Well, if you watched my last video or video a couple weeks ago, by the time you see this one, this is the stream that surprised me. A couple uh, Civil War artifacts popped out of the water. Three ringer, a couple of Whitworths. So we're hoping Todd can get his first bullet from the water today. Yeah, any, any Civil War era bullet from the water would be awesome. <laughs> We'll give it a shot, and if we find anything good, we'll uh, shove you underwater. Sound good? Sounds good. Let's go. What's that? First fishing weight of the day. Uh -huh. I think we should go see it. Let's go. I think it's a fishing weight. Here we go. Yep, number one. Do you see the man in the water? He just may have found his first Civil War bullet. Probably a sinker in the water. Should we go see it? Let's go see it. How does it make you feel right now? Good. Thanks, man. <laughs> Where is it? Oh yeah. Thing is made into a sinker. Yeah, it's just like the one I had. Yeah. A little hole in the top. I don't know what caliber that one is, That's though. Colt. You think? Yeah. Very nice. I was hoping to get a big one, the big three ringer. You'll find one in here. It's time for a cake break. <laughs> That's for you, Stephen, in the UK. <laughs> cake break. <laughs> I'd go underwater too, but then I'd have to protect my beautiful mug from sunburn, and that doesn't go well. So, we don't go under unless we have to. You know, a sinker is old when it's got a string attached to it. Look at that thing. pretty neat. Even though I'm not finding Civil War bullets, I'm still finding some pretty cool handmade sinkers. So we're here to try to find Civil War artifacts. <laughs> we're finding mostly sinkers. And then Todd stumbles into a freaking 
arms cache down here in the water. Can you see it? Just stop moving around, huh? I'll drop you under so you can see. How big there's more? Really? Yeah, I see him. Right there. See him sitting right oh, there. Oh crap. We've got a major arms cache. Look at all the shells in there. Holy. Dude, they're laying all over up here. Wow. What did you just find? I don't know. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot. Time to take a break and check this out. Now I do see them. Yeah, they're still loaded, man. Yeah. Yeah, there's shells laying all over in there. Oh my god, look at them all. I wonder how old they are. Those are World War II, man. You think? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what they are. Two twenty. Cool. It is cool. <laughs> well, no freaking way. Is that what I think it is? I don't know, dude. There's all. There's tons of different calibers. Hold there. on. Hold the phone. <laughs> is that Civil War in your hand right there? No, it's got a center primer. Damn it! I thought it was a trigger ringer. Dude, you have to see all the bullets that are here. There's tons of different calibers. Hey, there's even ones like these. Nice. Let me get up on the rocks. What's that big one though that you have? Oh, now it's freaking huge, dude. I mean, dude, that's ridiculous. It's crazy. It's just like, look at that. Yeah, that's like these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're laced all through there. I wonder what else is in there. I thought I saw another like magazine of them over here. There was a the one I found. Yeah, I got that one right the, here. There's one. There's a magazine of them sitting right there. Let's find the guns. Yeah. There's some up here too. Is this a monster or what? What the hell is that? Dude, I don't know. I'm just gonna lay them up here on the rock. I don't want to muddy up the place either. Yeah, I'm trying to get it slow. What the hell is that? Hmm. It's like somebody put one inside of another shell. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. Hmm. Wow. Talk about weirdness, dude. Eh? I know, right? It's still a major find. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. <laughs> Any of you arms experts out there? <laughs> they gotta be military. I mean, I don't see any markings on the bottom. Now, who knows what we'll find up through here. <laughs> like I said, I haven't been in this section. And they're in the water, too. They're not like they're up here. It's almost like somebody just threw them over the bank. Yeah, like they were, they were definitely bumpy. <laughs> this is cool. It's these big ones that I'm amazed. Like, what are those? Yeah, dude, they're monsters. Mm -hmm. 
There's nothing on the bank. Uh -uh. <laughs> We're back. We had a good day. We found a lot of lead. And we found a weapons cache. A serious weapons cache. A serious weapons cache. And we left a lot there. So here's, before we go to the weapons cache, let's go over what we found today. This is my stuff over here. A couple sinkers, a bunch of sinkers. Some really cool handmade sinkers. A couple bullets. That awesome. Yeah, it has a string still on it. And then Todd found all these cool sinkers. He actually found any more sinkers than me today. But he did find the bullet. Yes. We believe that's Civil War era. So that may be his very first Civil War bullet underwater. And he found a penny too. A uh, wheat penny. 1951. Very nice. So all in all, it was a good day. We spent a few hours doing all this. But then Todd <laughs> found a weapons cache. He only found what? The one cartridge first and I then... Found the, I found the one clip first and then called you over to take a look at it so you could uh, photograph it. But then behind it, behind some weeds, was another clip. And then that's when you noticed <laughs> that there... It's, there's a lot there's more there. there. There's more bullets there. So, this is what we brought home. <laughs> That's some pretty interesting bullets. I'd have to say, compared to even like finding the cool homemade sinkers and stuff, this is probably like one of the coolest finds of the year. Yeah, and, and let me tell you, there there's different ones. Like, look at this one. And that little one. And then these big ones. Yeah, that one. Like, what the hell? And there's no markings on the ends. Oh, wait, this one does. That's, look, a, that's a 308. Like, look at the primer cap on it. It's like... Yeah, a lot of these don't have any markings on the back of them, which so is be, really and weird. Like, this is the only one we found of this, but look at that. That thing's a monster. I mean, what what is that? Right. And it's, it's definitely... It is marked. <laughs> UMC 5070. Wow. Cool. But I would say there's probably just as much, if not more. Oh, oh there. my God. We put our detectors over the pile after we pulled these out, <laughs> and it was like a circus underneath the water. And high tones, just beep, yep. beep, beep, beep. So I'll, I'll probably go back at some point and, uh, rummage through some more. <laughs> I'd go soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. Thank you very much for the invite. Yeah, it was a good time. Glad you came. And, uh, glad we at least got some more. Cool food. Yeah, I got more. We were hoping to find more, but it didn't work out. But we cleaned the stream up a little bit, removed some of the lead. Absolutely. Until next time, I'm going to be okay. See ya.